All right, well, things have changed day two at Jordan Valley. Um, my hiking partner woke up today with a swollen throat, can barely breathe, so left him at the campsite. Um, I'm gonna hike back. I got about nine and a half miles today, and then uh, I'm gonna drive back and pick him up. So, looks like uh, it's supposed to be rain today, but looks pretty, um, uh, just overcast, probably about 45 degrees. A little chilly last night, but no rain, so that's good. So, uh, gonna try and do this fast, get a little workout. Done this trail before, so let's see if I can get uh, this uh, nine, 10 miles done in three hours. I'll get back. All right, moving along. Quite a bit of uh, elevation gain. I'm averaging maybe 3.5 miles an hour. So I'm moving along pretty good. A little training for my AT trail uh, uh, in Shenandoah trip coming up. So it's still nice out, probably about 45, 50 degrees. No wind, no bugs, a couple crows in the background. So. Here's a little view of the trail. So for all of you who are sitting on your couch, if you want to see this, you got to get out here. Comes with the Texas chili, instructions, corn chips, jack cheese, and some kind of, probably for me, an O-ring disaster. <laughs> so, anyways, one and a half cups of water boiling. We'll put it in there, 12 minutes, and I'll get back with you. All right, there we go. Texas chili with Fritos and cheese. <clears throat> Looks pretty good. There's Texas Pete hot sauce. I'm not sure about all that. We'll see. Yep, it smells pretty good. Looks pretty good. I think it's a winner. Packet gourmet. Good to go. All right, I got about two miles left. I'm cranking pretty good. Um, starting to maybe get a little blister on my foot I should take care of, but I'm probably not. Uh, cool area here. Let me check it out for you. Just kind of a giant meadow here. I don't know, I thought it was pretty cool looking. So, uh, there's a beaver pond coming up. Uh, last two years, uh, the bridge has been kind of down, so I don't know if they're going to divert me some crazy way. So this side of the trail, um, I do it uh, <coughs> opposite. Um, usually everyone comes this way first and the other way out. So I'm doing it uh, counterclockwise. Uh, it's pretty flat in general, except the climbs. Uh, the climbs are big climbs and then it flattens out. The other side's pretty rolling hills, you know, not a lot of flat. So maybe not as epic of climbs if, if there's epic climbs in Michigan, but it is what it is. So, um, feeling pretty good. It's probably about 45 degrees. Um, can tell you what was in my pack for this trip. I'm planning on, uh, I was carrying my stuff that I'm gonna take on the Appalachian Trail for the Shenandoah. I plan on doing about 108 miles. Um, I got my pack down to 26 pounds. And I am carrying everything that I would carry on that, even have the extra food. So I'm kind of using this as a, uh, you know, trial run. Not that this compares to the Appalachian Trail, but just to get my pack done. This is the lightest I've ever had my pack. So my uh, gear that I have, 
I'm carrying uh, an Eno Sub 7 tent or a Eno Sub 7 hammock. The straps and a 12 by 12 tarp from Hennessy. Weighs about total maybe a pound and three fourths for everything. Uh, and that's my sleeping system. I have a uh, Big Agnes uh, 15 degree bag I brought with me. Um, that I'll be having, I have a Big Agnes 40 degree bag that I'll be taking because I'm going to June. It was about 28 degrees last night, so a little chillier. Again, and then I got a Big Agnes negative 25 degree pad that I had with that too that is probably two pounds, but I'll be taking a uh, Thermo rest, it's about uh, just under a pound on that trip. So the clothes I'm wearing, I just got thermal shirt, long sleeve wicking shirt, hiking pants and zip off, some merino wool socks, boots. What I'm carrying is um, I had uh, thermal pants, which I probably won't be bringing, uh, change of shirt, a puffy jacket, which I will be bringing. Uh, it's about 10 ounces and a pair of socks that's about it i think next time i'll throw in uh extra pair of grundies little funkalicious here um food breakfast lunch dinner i did try out the uh packet gourmets i was a little weary because i am a mountain house fan all others suck uh packet gourmet gotta give it to you man good stuff good stuff I will throw that in my repertoire uh, so far I've tried out the Texas chili wonderful maybe a touch of salt if you're bringing that um, I've tried the mango chicken salad wonderful you just put water in it throw it in your pack when you're ready to eat wrap it in tortilla comes with little mayonnaise packs very nice very nice mesquite chicken salad uh, same thing had that today uh, wonderful and the rest was a uh, mountain house. So, um, one of the big things I've changed is I went to a Sawyer Squeeze. Uh, how wonderful that is! Light, easy, cheesy, and um, uh, you know I don't have to cut carry as much water. So basically, on this trip, I've had a a quart of water. I've got two Nelgines. I do got a coffee going, but two Nelgines, uh, one with water. And as I need water, there's plenty of water on this trail, so I'm just refilling as I need to, and I haven't had to yet. So uh, today will be about uh, 10, 10, 11 miles. Um, and I think that's it. So I'm back on the trail, I'll give you a little trail shot, and I'll be back.